Hey there, Santa Rosa Christian Church. This is Pastor Noah coming to you this week as we continue our series on our vision here at SRCC, which is to live wholeheartedly for Jesus. Uh, over the past few weeks, we've been unpacking this vision and then tying that into our mission as a church in terms of how do we live wholeheartedly for Jesus. And so last week we talked about believing uh, that we're all about trusting in Jesus, that Jesus calls us into a relationship with our, our wholeness, all that makes up who we are. And with that, there's different areas of our lives that we're called to trust in and believe in him with, with all that we are. And so we talked last week about believing. And so this week <clears throat> we're talking about belonging. And so with belonging, as we uh, as a staff unpack this last Sunday's sermon, uh, one of the things that came up was just this idea of like, okay, well, how do we practically live that out? And so we wanted to give you just a couple opportunities or a couple examples of how you could practically be living that out with some questions and some ways to engage. And so with belonging, the first, the first point that we made this last Sunday was that in belonging, that is that we are engaged in Christ-centered community. That as we engage in Christ-centered community, it's something that's essential to our spiritual growth and our spiritual maturity as we are walking as disciples of Jesus. It is in community and through community that God brings about real inward transformation. And so, first of all, uh, just wanted to give you a resource. Uh, one of my favorite authors is a man named Dietrich Bonhoeffer, uh, and he's an incredible writer and wrote some incredible things. Uh, and one of my favorite books that he wrote was a book called Life Together. Uh, and he talks about how important community is to the discipleship process and what it looks like to really walk with Jesus and, and how it's an integral part of what it means to be transformed into his likeness is that we are joined to his bride for all of eternity, for better or for worse. And it's in those nuances that God brings about inward transformation in our lives. And so with that being said, uh, that that God calls us into community with one another. And we don't always think like each other do. We don't always look like one another do. And so with that, I want to challenge you this week with a question. And that is, who is God calling you to bear with? And, and, and others' burdens. Um, and who is he calling you to intercede on behalf of? Maybe there's somebody in your life who doesn't look like you, and maybe you don't understand where they're coming from, but you know that they belong to the Lord, and they might be challenging for you. And it's in those challenges that God is stirring something in you that he wants to bring it more in line with his compassion, his mercy, his grace, his kindness, to show you his gentleness, to show you his patience and his mercy. Um, and in that, like God is wanting to bring about an inward transformation in you. So, so who is that that God is calling you to reach out to? The person who's not so lovely, the person who's hard to reach out to. And how is he calling you to intercede on their behalf? And, and how is he calling you to maybe even, if you can't feel like you can reach out to them, how is he calling you to pray for them? Secondly, we learn that part of belonging is that it, old, it fully opens us to knowing who God is that God has existed for all of eternity in a Trinitarian relationship. And so God has existed within a community of himself. And so to know community enlightens us or it deepens our capacity to know who God is. And so in community, to know God is to know his eternal community. And, and as we think about this, as we engage in this, God gives us opportunity of glimpses of glory. Maybe you've experienced int intimate community. Uh, maybe you're married and you have a spouse and you know what it's like to fully be known and, and somebody who sees every component of you, all your good stuff and all your bad stuff and, and loves you unconditionally. Uh, maybe for some of you, you have deep friendships where you know when, man, everything, when everything falls apart, that that's the person or those are the people that you can count on. And you've experienced community to one extent or the other, whether it's family, whether it's friendships. Um, and, and God has opened us into an, a greater understanding of who he is. And so my challenge for you this week is how are these relationships deepening and pointing you towards who God is, who his character is like, and how he intends you to relate, live in relationship to him. And the final thing that we talked about is that through community, 
God invites us into a space where he's bringing about renewal and redemption that reflects the perfection back in the garden. That through his grace, through his mercy, and through the gospel, as he calls us into community, we experience his goodness, we experience his grace and his mercy within the context of community. And sometimes, in our selfishness, we want to pull back. We want to just take it for ourselves. Uh, but that's not the heart of God. In fact, God tells us that he wants to invite others into that community. Rather than seclude, he wants to include others into that space of his bride and what it looks like to belong, truly belong to him and to be part of his family and be part of who he is. And so I want to challenge you this week in terms of how is God calling you to model to others what it looks like to walk out genuine Christ-centered community? And how is he calling you to invite others into that space? Others that you may not think that are close or others that you may not think are interested or other people that you might think might be even hostile. But God doesn't see them that way. And so I want to encourage you this week to engage uh, to pray for those people, to seek out those opportunities, and to be challenged inwardly and outwardly to walk out what it looks like to belong to the community of Christ. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Uh, when I think about what it lives, looks like to live wholeheartedly for Jesus, sometimes that can be scary. Uh, but God took 12 disciples. He sent his son to this earth. He took 12 men. He brought them into community with himself, and then he released them into the world. And we are here today because of what he did in their lives. And my, my excitement is, what would God do if we would live like that? That we would experience him like that? That we would be recklessly abandoned towards living for him for every part of, ours, of, of our world that we find ourselves in? And so I hope you join me in that journey. Um, sometimes it can be scary. Sometimes it can be uncomfortable. Sometimes it's messy. But let's go there together and watch the power of God work in and through us as we engage in this city in Santa Rosa. We love you guys and hope that this, this opportunity helps engage you a little bit further in what it looks like to practically walk out some of the things we're talking about. So we look forward to seeing you guys this Sunday. Jean Jobs is going to be preaching this Sunday, and I know she's going to bring it. And excited to hear what God wants to speak through her. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.